If you're playing Cyberpunk 2077 on PC and you're getting a little fed up of the double tap to dodge thing, I'm going to show you how you can disable it in this video and enable it on a single key press. For this video, I have reverted to the default controls, so this should match how the game was for you when you started up. And as you can see, if I double tap A, I dodge in the left direction. If I double tap D, and so on, you get the idea. One thing you should know that many of you may not have realized, because I didn't at first, is if you go in a direction and you double tap the crouch key, the crouch to toggle key, for example, like that, it will dodge automatically. Okay, I didn't do it fast enough. There you go. It will dodge automatically in the direction you're traveling, whether that's forward or backwards as well. And this functionality extends to the crouch on hold key as well, which I believe is control by default. I will go left and then there you go. That functionality is enabled by default. I just didn't realize it. That's going to be important later on. First things though, let's disable the double tap on the movement keys. The first thing you're going to need to do is find a file called inputcontext.xml and for me it's found inside my GOG folder Cyberpunk 2077 R6 config. You will need to find this file. Don't worry if you get here and you find files like input context but it doesn't have a .xml at the end of it. You can actually fix that by clicking this icon here, going along to view and file name extensions, clicking there so they are visible. It's not essential. You can edit the file with or without the extension. I just like to have the extensions on so I know what file types I'm dealing with. What you will need to do is edit this file in the text editor of your choice. So you can right click it and open with notepad. For example, that's the text editor that comes with Windows. In my case, I'm going to edit with Notepad++ because that's my preferred editor. Once the file's open, press Ctrl and F at the same time. That should bring the search functionality up. And look for Dodge Forward, all one word, no spaces, and hit Find Next. Keep hitting Find Next until you find a section marked Multi-Tap Actions, and it should have Dodge, Dodge Forward, Dodge Right, etc., as you see here. Once there, go to the line marked multi-tap action equals dodge forward. And if you look to the right of that, you can see it says count equals two. This is the number of times you will have to press the forward button to dodge in the forward direction. And the easiest way to disable the uh, double tap, believe it or not, is to just increase this number to something that you could not do. A, a common one would be 99. Uh, this is the simplest way to disable it and it allows you to change it back later on very easily. You're going to want to do the same with dodge right, dodge back, and dodge left. That will disable all four direction double taps. Now you press Control S to save and you're done for the disabling. It's a good idea to boot the game up and make sure that is actually working. So I'm going to press the D key to move right. I'm going to double tap it and no dodge. Same with A to move left, W forward and S back. I can double tap and it will not dodge. Technically, if I tap the button 99 times right, I will eventually dodge. Believe it or not, I actually did test it. It does dodge eventually. But honestly, I can't imagine many of you are going to be doing that. And if you are doing that, really, the dodge thing is the least of your problems. Now, you can still dodge, though. If I move uh, right and then double tap crouch, I'm still able to dodge. That was the crouch toggle. I'm going to do the same with crouch hold. It's still dodging. Of course, I do have to press the key twice. Now, if you want, you can actually go back to the same section and the line at the top where it says multi-tap action dodge count equals two, if you change that to one, 
pressing the default dodge key, which is the hold to crouch or the toggle to crouch key, one time whilst moving in any of those directions will dodge instead of crouching. So I'm going to control S again to save and start up the game. Back in game, I'm going to double tap the D key to try and dodge right, just to make sure it's still disabled. It is. But now I'm going to move right and then single tap crouch. There you, there you can see it. I'm dodging. Single button press. And it doesn't matter whether I crouch to hold or crouch to toggle. That is actually a bit of a problem sometimes because if you're walking along and you want to... Oh, no, I want to sneak. What you have to do is stop dead still, then sneak, and then keep moving. That... Oh, and that was me trying to stand up and I dodged. That could be a bit of a problem. What would be perfect for me, and indeed is how I run, is if I could crouch top gull as normal and only dodge when I'm crouched to hold this key. To make this happen, we have to go back to the same folder we were in before, the GOG Cyberpunk 2077 R6 config or wherever that folder is for your installation, and this time edit a file called inputusermappings.xml. Once the file is opened, press Control F again and you're looking for dodge. Find next, and you need the section marked controller specific dodge. Don't worry, I know this says controller specific, but believe it or not, it controls the key used for dodging on keyboards as well. There are two options at the bottom, one that overrides crouch hold and the other that overrides crouch toggle when double tapping. I'm going to disable the crouch toggle override. I'm going to make it so double tapping, sorry, single tapping crouch toggle does not dodge, but crouch hold does. Now I can do that by just deleting this line if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, after this, um, it is a less than sign. I had to think about that for a second. I'm going to type exclamation mark dash dash, and then just before the greater than sign dash dash. This will actually um, make the game ignore this line. That way I can, you know, revert it very easily at a later date. Control S to save. Once in game, if I start moving around but now press the C key, which is the crouch toggle, I am actually just crouching. So this is what I'm going to use for stealth. However, if I move around and press the control key, which is the hold to crouch normally, it's dodging, as you can see. It still crouches if I stand still, but I now have one key for crouching and another key for dodging. And this will continue to work that way even if you rebind your hold to crouch key because of this overridable UI equals crouch hold. Now, some of you will want to leave the crouch functionality totally untouched. You want to be able to crouch with crouch hold and crouch toggle and have no risk of dodging. You'd rather have a dedicated dodge key. It's very easy to do that. You just go along to the line where it says button ID equals IK control overridable UI equals crouch hold and delete the section where it says overridable UI equals crouch hold and then change the IKL control code to whatever you want to set it to. I'm going to set it to IK underscore Y, which is the Y key. You can probably look through here and find examples of all the code keys and figure out what you want to set it to. Control S, and now the Y key is set as a dedicated dodge key and the, the, the crouch buttons are completely isolated from it. Now in game, if I move around and press the control key, which holds to crouch, no dodging. If I do the same with toggle crouch, again, no dodging. But if I press the Y key, I'm dodging. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You can now have a dedicated dodge key and the double tap dodging <laughs> disabled. 
Now, you can actually download other people's settings from places like the Nexus, but you will reset any changes you've made to the bindings. You will be somewhat limited to the bindings that that person, the uploader, was using at the time. You can, of course, go back into your settings and then change them all back. Maybe that'll be quicker for you, I don't know. Um, but if you've changed a lot of things in here and you've tweaked a lot of things, I would recommend you do this manually. Figure out where the files are yourself, do a little bit of testing and get the setup exactly what you want it to be. So, that is all I've got to say. I hope this was helpful and I hope you will have fun dodging around Night City without accidentally bumping into people this time.